Today we're going to be reviewing the AquaCheck test strips for pools. Um, it checks for uh, total hardness, total chlorine, total bromine, free chlorine, pH, total alkalinity, and cyanuric acid. On the back of the bottle you'll find a chart that is very easy to read that can guide you and tells you how low or how high your um, pool chemistry is. Um, it's color coded and easy to read. You want to stay within the ideal or okay range and um, definitely um, love the way they, they did this. It's really easy to, to understand and read. I test my pool chemistry about twice a week to ensure that my levels are within range. Every other week, or sometimes once a month, I test it with a more advanced test kit, such as my Color Q7, which I'll be doing a review on that here shortly. Um, but definitely, this is my to-go-to when I need to quickly check my pool chemistry. I will say that it's not as accurate as a uh, liquid test kit, but it's at least a quick way to check your, your pool chemistry. I'm gonna go ahead and get my water sample now. I use this uh, water bottle to do so. I first rinse the water bottle just to make sure that there is no um, cooking in it or just make sure it's clean. And um, then I submerge the, the water bottle face down about elbow deep to get the best results. Then underwater, I'll face it back up and I'll collect the perfect amount of sample water that I need. And that's the proper way to get your sample water. All right, to demonstrate, I'm gonna take out one of these test strips for you and test my pool water to kind of show you how it works. There's several in here. Um, you can definitely get your money's worth by buying these, but um, this is what they look like. And here is my test water, so I'm gonna put it there. And I'm just gonna simply dip it for one second and pull it right back out. Then the instructions say to wait for 15 seconds uh, before we can compare it to the chart that will be that's listed behind the bottle. So just go ahead and give it the 15 seconds. And let's start comparing to see what results we have. Here we go. All right, let me just clean it here just to make sure you can see. Hopefully you can see this, but um, here we have the total hardness. I am about, I would say 200 around there. Uh, my chlorine level is between a three and a four, which is ideal. Um, same with um, free chlorine. The total chlorine is between three and four, and then the the free chlorine is as well between three and f five. I think it's around there. Again, it's just an estimate, right? Um, pH is slightly high. It's getting close to 8.1, I would say, or 8.0. So I might need to add a little bit of acid there to kind of bring down the, the pH. Total alkalinity, it's around one 100, 120, 115, I'm not sure. That's why I kind of need the other one to kind of tell me the exact um, alkalinity. As well as my cyanuric acid, it's within the ideal range of 50. So there you have it, folks. That's how you use this, uh, the test strips by Aqua Check 7. I will put a link on the description below where you can get yours. This is just the one I use, um, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Thank you. Have a good day.